Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kendall Alexis and in today's video we're going to be going over topics such as leveling up in 2022, those finances girl, self-love, friendships, relationships. We're going to be touching on all of that and more so if you want to see what I have to say on these very different topics just keep on watching. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna get right into this and our first topic of today is first of all let me just tell y'all that I clearly did my eyebrows already because I can't do my eyebrows on camera like I don't even know why I'm trying to do this you know get ready with me while I talk about these different topics because I I can't multitask like I just can't multitask so this is gonna be a real challenge for me but we're gonna get through it nonetheless like i said i already put my eyebrows on because that's just gonna make my life easier while recording this video you know if you see me looking off to the side i'm just looking at my mirror because you know we're gonna be doing our makeup in this video today while we talk about different things that really just have to do with life you know what i mean i'm so excited for 2022 are you excited make sure you comment down below and let me know you know if you're excited for 2022 do you have any plans any goals you know we're gonna get to that in this video so let's just go ahead and start doing our makeup because i will sit here and talk all day sorry for my voice it's really annoying um i just kind of got over covid so that's why your girl is sounding kind of weird so the first topic of today is gonna be all about relationships and friendships yes your girl is only 18 about to be 19 in a couple of weeks but i feel like i've kind of learned some things about friendships and relationships and stuff like that first and foremost before you hop into any relationship baby like you need to be okay with yourself you need to be okay alone because if you get in that relationship girl it's just gonna it's not gonna end good and then once it ends you're gonna be all over the place and we just don't need that you know what i mean don't be in a rush to get into relationships because although it's nice having another person to you know always be able to talk to and you know just do things with i'm only 18 and obviously like i'm not my best self like i don't really know myself 100 percent. let's just be real like you know but it's like i'm comfortable enough with myself to know that if the relationship that i am in ever ends it's not going to be the end of the world i know it's not going to be the end of the world accepting the fact that you don't have to be in a relationship at a young age is really gonna get you far don't be that type of person to always feel like they need someone because you're just always gonna feel like you're never gonna feel like yourself you're never gonna know who you are if you always feel the need to have someone else by your side moral of the story is like just let your friendships and you know relationships add to you don't let them be you all that you amount to the older you get the less friends you are going to have it's definitely okay to have that solid group of friends like, a lot of the times these people just be temporary like everyone is temporary just like how you're replaceable they're replaceable and don't feel like you know you need to stick around a friend group or stick around certain people because you know you don't want to be alone i just go back into being comfortable with who you are take time to be alone and learn yourself a little bit before you feel the need to jump into a relationship and friendships too it's okay if you outgrow people we are in our prime of changing and adapting to different things in life and trying new things don't restrict yourself to a certain friend group or even a relationship if you feel like you've outgrown people leave like obviously there's something out there that's better for you if you're not changing that's a problem you're a person you're a human being at the end of the day and you're always going to be changing so the next topic of today's video is going to be self-love and girl hmm this is gonna be a never-ending journey because as soon as you feel like you know you found some security and you found like what you would consider self-love life is just gonna come and it's just gonna grab you up by the neck and show you that girl yeah you think so you think so there's this thing that i saw on instagram it was like a little quote it said you gotta get the f up every day and do this sh for you what everybody else is doing and saying this is your life and when i saw that it really just hit 
something in me because that is literally so true i don't know if this is a thing like after high school but hmm no one is gonna make sure you do what you need to do besides you because at the end of the day everyone has their own lives their own problems and you can't expect people to always be there for you because they probably can't even be there for themselves so you have to be this goes back to topic number one you have to be somewhat okay with yourself and you have to be able to pull yourself out of situations if you can just count on yourself to be there for you as long as you can do that for yourself it's okay if you don't know how to do that by yourself yet because you know life is all about you know learning and growing that's something that you know you can probably get better at and just work towards being better at if you're not where you want to be in life like that is going to be the hardest on you you're going to have to stand on yourself and you're gonna have to hold yourself accountable to do what you need to do every single day because no one else is gonna be there being like you need to make sure you get this done no one's gonna make sure you get it done besides you so that's why you need to get up and do your own and get your Done. don't spend too much time comparing yourself because comparison is the thief of joy you should be so focused on what you're doing to the point where like whatever other people are doing has nothing to do with you you should be so focused on your grass that you can't even tell that the next person's grass is greener okay well having someone that you know who motivates you and who like inspires you or something like that like use them as your motivation if you can't use yourself as your motivation so if you don't get up every morning for yourself which you should which you should if you're not a self-motivated person you know just use another person that motivates you to get up every day and do what you need to do like if you're not going to do it for yourself do it for them eventually you'll want to get up and do it for yourself so having someone that motivates you and inspires you to want to do better in life use them as your motivation for a while until you can use yourself don't forget to spoil yourself and you know be kind to yourself do what makes you feel good as much as you can i also saw this quote i don't think i'm gonna be able to put it in this video i saw someone say you spend a lot of time in your head so make it a great place to be you know and that's really true we spend a lot of our lives in our head so we might as well make it a good place to be we might as well feed ourselves good affirmations all those things that make you feel good so really just remove yourself from your own body act as if you are the person who you love unconditionally and would not want a bad thing ever in life to happen to them the next thing we're gonna talk about is leveling up in 2022 for one the very first thing that you need to do is you need to get rid of old habits in 2021 if you know that you were doing things and you everyone knows because girl i'll be sitting in bed and i'll be like girl you know you could be doing this this and that but instead you'll rather sit in the bed scroll on social media for three hours and then go on youtube and watch five hour videos instead of actually doing something that's going to put you in a position to be where you eventually want to be in life you need to get rid of those habits but trust me before 2022 is over girl we're gonna have discipline down to a t like i am disciplined discipline is me get rid of those old habits and replace those bad habits with habits that's gonna benefit you in the long run this is not gonna be an overnight process this is probably gonna take you know the whole 2022 to do as long as you're making some type of progress as long as you're moving forward every single day you know improving in some type of way that's all that matters some progress is still progress as long as you're not staying complacent in the same place that you were last year that's all that matters even if you do one good thing for yourself this year next year that's something you don't have to worry about hold yourself accountable get rid of these old self-sabotaging habits that you have adapt newer habits that's actually gonna benefit you like i said in the long run and the way that i plan to execute this is these are the things that i don't like about myself these are the things that i want to change because they aren't literally the healthiest for me set my intentions and set my goals i'm gonna break it down in the chunks more manageable pieces that i can do every single day to help me arrive to that 
goal and then the next thing I'm gonna do is basically just hold myself accountable like every single day I need to get up and I need to do what I need to do and get the things done that I need to get done after holding myself accountable you know you still want to track your progress treat yourself like for me if I'm doing what I need to do and I'm accomplishing what I need to accomplish you see me I will go overboard and I'll like okay I'll treat myself to a skin set but you know it's all about what you want to do for yourself and how you see treating yourself as I will treat myself to I'll go spend five hundred dollars at Sheen, which isn't a good finance choice which leads me into my next point which is finances like girl you need to get a hold of your finances if you have a job if you have some sort of income then you are old enough to start saving like save your money I have touched so much money and like I literally don't know where it has gone like I am still working on this to this day but it's never too early to start saving your money I try to save 10% of my checks and I put it into my savings account and that's how I save my money and it honestly adds up over time I don't ever dip into your savings that's literally the worst thing you can do like if you're gonna help yourself help yourself learning about how you can set yourself up for success at a young age rather than when you're 30 years old is gonna put you way ahead of the game than if you were to start when you're 30 do the work now so that you can rest later like that's the goal also if you don't have to get a nine to five i say skip the nine to five and pick up a side hustle that you can monetize because once you get a job it's really hard not to adopt that nine to five mentality you're always going to be wanting that next check you know you're always going to feel like okay i have to trade time for money and that's absolutely not the case there's so many ways in 2022 to be making money so if you don't have to get a nine to five literally don't get a nine to five literally try to figure out a side hustle that you can pick up basically the moral of the story and basically what i'm trying to get at overall is just literally get up every single day and live life for you because you'll never be happy if you're always seeking something outside of you life happens things happen and you just have to try to make the best of the situation still do what you need to do so I wasn't gonna put lashes on but I didn't feel like putting them on because I'm literally not going anywhere so I hope you guys like this video and what I talked about which you know it's probably all over the place when I look back at this I'm probably gonna be like girl did you even get to what you were trying to say like did you even get to the main point did you even get to the thick of it but you know nonetheless like I said in this video you need to hold yourself accountable that's literally the number one step to starting anything in life like any change anything you need to hold yourself accountable and you know take accountability for where you fell short at so that you can grow from where you are and you know achieve the things that you want to achieve in this lifetime so if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up you know comment down below your favorite point or you know just add on to what i was saying you know in the comments down below i would love to chat with y'all in the comments and stuff like that don't forget to follow me on all my other social medias because i am definitely 100 more active on instagram so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.